Hey, what's going on there, folks? Uh, Earthmaster here, real quick on this uh, July 30th, 2020, 8:55 a.m. And of course, uh, a little earthquake taking place out there in Southern California this morning. Uh, originally a 4.5 magnitude quake, downgraded from the uh, 4.5 to a 4.2 striking north of Los Angeles here in this uh, San Bernardino um, San well, let's see here let me zoom in here just a real quick San Fernando okay sorry San Fernando area um, got the mountain ranges way up here but this took place in a pretty highly populated region so quite a few folks uh, did report feeling that earthquake here within this region which has now been quite a bit of uh, aftershocks as well there's San Fernando uh, like I said, very populated region. There's that 4.2 in the blue circle. Um, was reading quite a few comments on this earthquake, um, and pe people reported this as a rolling type jolt or rolling feeling, you know, instead of the typical jolting side to side type activity. So that's uh, kind of interesting. Of course, this fault system, kind of that where it took place on, is a thrust type fault, which would explain the um, you know the up and down type motion compared to the uh, typical uh, sliding fault system, which would uh, explain a uh, the rocking back and forth feeling. Uh, let's see here. I wanted to check out the uh, did you fill it reports. There's quite a few. Quite a few uh, reports. Where did it go here? Hold on one second here. And most of the people, like I said, light to, you know, kind of like light, moderate shaking. And what struck me kind of odd is a lot of people report like the sound of it being rather noisy, which is kind of strange. It's hard to believe that a 4.2 would be loud like that. So kind of got me scratching my head here, but uh, you can see quite a few folks here, you know, calling in reporting that. And this, this is just page, uh, well, this is just, what do we got here? Items per page 10. Uh, what, 286 reports there. Well, definitely more than 286, but probably 286. Uh, um, what do we got? Items per page. Hold on a second here. Let's go. Uh, I just kind of want to see what's going on here. Maybe 286 different locations down there. Pretty crazy. Anyway, uh, kind of got a raspy voice this morning, so bear with me, folks. Just uh, one of those mornings here. I want to zoom right in there to the area and show you guys that specific s fault system, by the way. A little earthquake out there in New Mexico. 3.7 just striking a couple minutes ago. Zoom into that area once again and... Show the show you the specifics here of this area. Definitely right on that thrust fault system right there. Kind of runs from north to south there. It's, hold on a second here. Sierra Madre fault zone, San Fernando section. So on a different app here, I can see that this is a thrust fault area. and a highly populated region once again you can see all those city streets and whatnot <clears throat> so kind of interesting activity folks all this activity following a uh, three point what was it 3.9 that struck up here along the creeping section of the san andreas fault last night not unusual to have earthquake activity on that section but uh I believe we're still seeing a lot of activity being built up up here on the west coast even a little quake out here along the Gorda escarpment region southern section here 4.1 let's see I'm kind of curious to see if that took place uh, before or after the uh, southern Cal activity 
Yeah, it looks like that took place uh, beforehand. By only about 40 minutes or so, that's pretty crazy. So, activity is still continuing out here on the West Coast, folks. Definitely uh, be on guard today out here. Aftershock numbers. Let's go ahead and bring in the all magnitudes here real quick. See if they're uh, excluding any. So it looks like within this area we got about 56 earthquakes. That includes all magnitudes. There's a little one way up here. It's a little 1.4 well north of the area, but most of the uh, current aftershock activity confined to the uh, San Fernando region here where that um, uh, 4.2 struck this morning. So kind of watching it, folks. Just be on guard, you know. We're long overdue for a large quake out here. Just one of those things that's going to come to California and the West Coast one day. And that's just the San and that's just we're just talking about the San Andreas fault, you know, the big one. But the really big one will be in the Pacific Northwest with the uh, Cascadia subduction zone. <clears throat> Once that produces that uh, nine pointer or so, who knows when it will happen, but uh, it will definitely happen. And we're going to jump back over here to the live stream, folks. I um, hope everyone's having a good day out there. Going to sit and monitor up this uh, activity a little bit. And we'll chat you guys a little later on today. Stay safe.